So I've been thinking for a while about getting a linear actuator to operate the the chute, the, the, you know, the nozzle of the chute for my um, John Deere snowblower. Uh, and uh, I know that there are kits you can buy online. I think they're about $150, the actuator with some wiring and that sort of switch. Um, I didn't really want to spend that much money. I didn't think it was necessary. So I did a little bit of searching and I came up with a, a much smaller actuator than typically I've seen used. But um, I don't know if you can see this in this light here, but um, it's small. The, um, I calculated that all I needed was three inches of, of uh, piston movement there. And uh, rather than some of these that I've seen use, you know, with 150 pounds of push and pull, I, um, this has about four pounds, um, but I think it's going to be plenty uh, powerful enough and neat enough, and it seems to be very uh, weatherproof um, to operate that, um, that chute there. So this is what I'm planning to fit. I've uh, worked out how I'm going to fit it. Now, the other thing I did buy to go with it, rather than just a regular, you know, uh, and all you're doing really to, to push and pull on this is just change the polarity so you need a sort of a two-way switch but i decided to go with a remote let me show you that but this is the little power supply with the remote that i purchased as well and the reason i went with that rather than just use switching on the uh, on the console in my cab here um, was i'm planning to use the same power supply come uh, spring and summer and fall to um, operate a linear actuator or maybe two actuators on my MC519 um, you know, uh, collection and uh, dump system. I've been thinking for a while about trying actuators on there and it will be nice to be able to operate it that from the cab and also from standing behind the, uh, the cab. So I've got this, this is going to be used right now for the snow blower, but when the snow blower comes off I'll be using the same power supply just connecting whatever linear actuators I end up going with to operate my um, my 519 over there my MC 519 so I'll be experimenting with that again you can get hydraulic um, kits for this but they're like $450 okay so the little actuator is bolted in place I used um, 832 stainless little bolts a quarter, one and a quarter inches long and locking nuts so i i lock the bolts in place first and then then obviously uh ran, put the um on both ends so you create little axles on either end there and then use the washers and locking nuts on the outside there and it and i've just tested it been testing it with a nine volt battery which is uh, obviously not as powerful as, a, as you would expect to be using from a 12 volt battery from the tractor, but it's functioning just as it should be. So I'm very happy. Now that, um, and I'm now gonna do the wiring and run the wiring back to the cab and set up the little remote. My little uh, mini uh, actuator is uh, now all set up. It's in place, it's wired. So I ran wire from there. There's a quick connect there so I can disconnect that in the, in the spring and then this wire this feed here which i've just kept clipped to the outside of the frame down there and up to my control panel will also be the power supply then when i want to try actuators on my um mc519 dumper cart in the uh, in the spring in uh, and i'll get that new actuators for that there's a little remote uh, power controller there so and this is how it works um, it's pretty simple. Here's my little remote, so I'll keep this in the cab in the winter, and then in the summer when I want to empty from the cab, I can, or I can empty it from uh, if I'm standing behind it. So here we go. There we go. So that's got a three-inch, uh, three-inch throw and a four-pound load capacity. Now I know other people are using ones with like 150 pound capacity and all that sort of thing but it isn't it isn't necessary for, for something like this that little actuator cost me i think it was 33 dollars uh amazon and um i could have just put a regular little switch on it as i said but i bought the uh, 
I bought the remote to go with it. Uh, so the remote turned out to be with the little, you know, the power, the power supply with the remote was another 20 bucks. So I've got a remote control and an actuator for about 50, I think it was $55 altogether. So I'm real happy with that. Hopefully it'll hold up through the bad weather. Right now it's only March and we've all the snow's gone and um, it does it feels like spring, but I'm sure we can still have a lot more snow between now and the end of winter. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you've enjoyed it and you like this and you've found it helpful, please give the video a like, the thumbs up. And if you like this video, you might enjoy, I've got scores of videos up there on these tractors, the 445 and 455 models that I own. So, um, um, so please subscribe. It's free. So anyway, thanks for viewing and have a great day.